Okay, so in this problem, it says a bag of candy contains three red and five green candies. And if two are selected at random without replacement, find the probability that both are red, both are green. One is red and one is green. The first one is red and the second one is green. So in order to answer this question, the first thing I will do is I will draw a tree diagram. So in my tree diagram, I have two possibilities. My first possibility is that it's going to be a red candy. My second possibility could be a green one. So this is basically my first pick over here. And I have a total of three red candies. And I have a total of eight in the bag. And down here I have a total of five candies and I have a total of eight in the bag. Now this is my first pick. When I go to my second pick, Again, I have two possibilities for each one. Red, green, red, green. Now let's say I'm following this first path here. I've picked one red candy. I had a total of three red candies, which means that I have two remaining in the bag. And I had a total of eight candies. I picked one, so I have seven left in the bag. I still have all my green candies because my first pick was a red one over here. This is going to be 5 out of 7. And if I pick the green candy first, I still have all three of my red ones. But I have 7 left in the bag. And if I pick a green one first, I have 4 green left. I have a total of 7 left in the bag. So that's my tree diagram. Now I can start answering some of the questions based on this. So what is my probability that both are red? So I have a red one over there. The probability of one red one is 3 out of 8. And then the probability of the second red one, 2 over 7. If I multiply them together, I will get my solution. It's 3 over 28. You can also convert that to a decimal, get my calculator. Zero point one zero seven. My part B of the question asked me what is the probability that both are green. The probability of my first one being green is 5 over 8. The probability of my second one being green is 4 over 7. Multiply those. Five over fourteen, which is also zero point. C part of the question asks me the probability that one is red and one is green. So if I pick my first candy as a red one, the probability is 3 out of 8. The probability of my second one being green is 5 over 7. But I also have another possibility of picking a green one first and a red one second. So I'm going to add that possibility 5 over 8 times 3 over 7 just 15 over 28 which also equals 0 0.536. And then the last question asks me probably that the first one is red and the second one is green. Now the big thing I want you to tell is the difference between the C part and the D part. In the C part, the order doesn't matter if it says one is red and one is green. It could mean that the first one could be red and the second one could be green or the first one could be green and the second one could be red. But in this D part here, it tells you a specific order. The first one is red and the second one is green. So you can only go red, green. So 
my probability for the d part would just be 308 times 507 which is 15 or 56 or 0 0.268